The use of voice in content production is pervasive across the media landscape, from radio broadcasting to video content, interactive applications and video gaming. In the auditory medium, the human voice is dominant when it comes to conveying textual messages to audiences. The craft that goes into making a good voiceover demands a diversified skill set, comprised of scripting, voice performance, voice direction and sound engineering. For this to succeed, a voiceover artist is not only able to voice a script in a compelling fashion, but also to receive and utilise feedback from the producer and sound engineer, incorporating comments and suggestions into the performance. To accomplish this, everyone involved in the process needs to develop critical listening skills for voice performance, which allows them to identify nuances in accents, breathing and prosodic features of speech, such as intonation, stress, tempo, amongst others. In this video, we describe three technology-enhanced feedback techniques that can contribute to develop critical listening skills for voice performance using Sonic Visualizer and Pratt, two free software applications. The first technique utilizes Sonic Visualizer to provide students with an annotated timeline containing comments and suggestions on the vocal performance. Hi, my name is Paul. I woke up at seven o'clock in the morning. I took a bus from Plasto, took the district and circle lines from Plasto to Eden on Broadway station. Using an annotated timeline, students can easily make the connections between the visual waveform and the audible output. This is particularly useful for the engineering side of the process to identify issues with the recording, such as clipping and differences in volume. The second technique also relies on Sonic Visualizer, this time to sonify the prosodic elements of speech, detaching them from their verbal meaning. Hi there, this morning I woke up at 7.30, ate a banana and had my coffee in bed while reading. Hi there, this morning I woke up at 7.30, ate a banana and had my coffee in bed while reading a book. Removing the semantic layer provided by words eases the reduced listening process, consisting of describing the traits of a sound itself independent from its cause or its meaning. The third technique uses Pratt a specialised software for the study of phonetics and consists in identifying the average pitch and vocal range of the voiceover artist. I woke up at 7.30 and I got my siblings ready for school along with my mother. This contributes to a better understanding of the characteristics of the voice and therefore which types of voiceover roles it would be suited for. The three techniques mentioned in this video have been successfully applied in voice production and radio production modules. They not only provide useful feedback to students, they've proved to be engaging activities in the classroom. The functions of both software applications used in this video extend beyond the features presented here, which opens the door for further technology-enhanced feedback techniques.